Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. Today I'm doing a tag video, another tag. Um, it is called Seven Things I Need to Tell You Tag. So if you guys would like to stick around and hear what I need to tell you, keep on watching. So wow, happy new year guys. I don't know if I actually had a video up after the New Year's, I don't think so. So here we are in the new year. And I was tagged by a little poet, Susan, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys know. But there might be some people out there that might not know Susan, little poet. Let me just say, I have known her for quite a few years now. I have been subscribed to her, gotten to know her, become friends, uh, have this great connection with her but I think she has a way of connecting with you in general anyway in her videos. Her videos to me, to me, are just such art in itself. Uh, she It's like she takes you on her journey in life. She does do beauty videos, you know, most of the time, and she has skincare, beauty, whatever, you know, makeup and everything, but she also has a story to tell in it and I like that. It's a little bit more unique and different. So I'm going to put a link down below to uh, Little Poet Susan. Tell her I sent you and uh, go check her out. I know you won't be disappointed. So this is the seven things that I need to tell you and it is basically about New Year's like as like you know, how was 2017? So it's all about things that have to do with the new year and last year, like, you know, maybe lessons learned or anything. So I'm going to read you off the questions, which as always, I pop up a page on here so it might get a little more brighter. Rate 2017 on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being awesome. Um, Honestly, I feel like I didn't have to think long and hard on it. I would probably actually give it a two and a half to three. Why I'm giving it a low grade is because if most of you guys know me, um, and you know, like uh, maybe you follow me on Facebook or something like that, you know that there's been like a lot of health issues, just a lot of ups and downs, rocky roads here and there. Um, my brother being one. Just in general, this year just seems so not so positive. I hate saying that, but it just did for me. And I could not wait till, you know, 2018 got here and saying goodbye to 2017. Favorite memory of 2017? Story time. I'd probably say uh, favorite memory for 2017 would be, you know, seeing my daughter and her boyfriend and my granddaughter getting a house, like moving into a house, which is only a couple doors down, which I thought was pretty, pretty funny, you know, like finding a house that ended up being a couple doors down. But I think that was a favorite, favorite memory because I'm seeing uh, between her and my son, like they're growing up, they're exploring more in their, in their world. And, you know, like, between her and my son both, they have a lot going on. My son's three years in college now, and he actually moved into his own place, apartment over there. So he's not here as often as what he has been in the past couple years when he was starting off college. It's a lot to get used to with that, but um, yeah, I would say that would be a lot of my favorite memories and just seeing my kids, you know, expanding in the world and you know starting off in their life journey of whatever it holds for them i think any parent does though did you change as a person in 2017 or how did being a content creator on youtube change you i feel like i did but not i'll be honest not for the better though I feel like I was letting too much negativity pull me in. I was letting um, too much over overtake me and let me not see the positive side of things. I don't know what it was that actually happened. I think it's just 
how things have been going around here in the house with some of the health issues and, and different things with family members. And I, I just, I think that kind of played the role for my whole year and, and made me feel more some negativeness. And I don't like that because like, you know, I felt like I came so far in a past journey that I went through to let it all tumble and fall. So I wasn't too happy with that. Changing as a content creator, I don't know if I have. I feel like I'm trying to step up as I go, but I feel like I still lack a lot because I have so many things I want to get, uh, like a new camera, microphone is one because I feel like the sound would be better for myself. Uh, because I do have that soft voice that a lot of people seem to enjoy. They say it's very comforting and everything. So that, that's really nice. I like to hear that. You know, I have a very comforting voice. That's good. Uh, but I think a microphone would help. So there's things that I want to add. And I was hoping to do that last year. And just too much piled up. You know, it was like you're sitting, sitting there and everything's piling up all at once. And... I'm always hoping the next year will be something easier or better, but you know, life gives us what it does and sometimes it's not always fair and then somehow I have to pull myself back up and that's kind of what I've been working on within uh, lately, like in the last few months. Favorite video you did in 2017 and why? Maybe one that pops out and it didn't get a whole lot of views. But I enjoyed it because it was a little something different and it's something that I'm into is the paranormal. And it was the one where they came into my dreams or something. Uh, I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested in seeing that video, if you haven't seen it already. I don't know. I just, I enjoyed doing that one. That one's one that kind of stands out and pops out at me because it was a little more different and stepping out and sharing with you guys of another interest that I have. Uh, besides music. The one product that blew you away. The one product that blew me away. I think there's a lot of products that blew me away, honestly. I mean, I could sit here forever and tell you a lot of products that I really, really enjoy and love and feel like, wow, they surprised me. But I think the one thing, because like, I was kind of shocked by this, I never used one before, was this uh, sheer Envy from Hard Candy. It's the Coconut Water Primer Stick. You guys might have been seeing this around, uh, flashing around. And it's a primer stick, but it, it's crazy because it's very cooling. Um, I can even put it on now, like around by my eyes. And like if there's times like I feel like, oh, you know, like I need a little something for under my eyes to cool it down. But also like my pores, it... I, I do put it on before I put my foundation on and it really, 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 it really covers up the pores. Like it, it does make you look poreless and flawless. And I was quite surprised, but it's also cooling and relaxing with the coconut water in it and everything. And I was surprised because I felt like it was gimmicky, you know, I thought it was going to be gimmicky. So this guy here did surprise me and it's, it's drugstore. I know other brands and companies have them, but I really liked this. And actually Emily Noel, you know, she recommended this too. So who or what influenced you the most in 2017? Do you want to know who or what influenced me? I would honestly, honestly say you guys have out there that watch me comment um, cause like with all this negative that I was feeling this year, there was a couple of times where I wasn't feeling I was doing too well on my channel. Like I felt like I was missing something or I was like bringing myself down. Like, you know, um, oh, I didn't have the subscribers I thought I was going to have or the views I was going to have. And I thought at some point, I would read all your comments and I'm like, oh my gosh, Lori, like right in front of you is a huge thing. You know, I'm looking at the wrong part of what I'm doing on here on YouTube, like in the part of, I shouldn't worry about like the subscriber. I mean, like it, it's important for that and the views 
the, but the main thing is, is the connection that I have with you guys, the comments, because I've seen others who barely even comment to some other people that, you know, I know for some, it gets a little harder because they do have a lot of people that comment. I do, I do hear that, you know, and I, I could probably understand that that probably would be a little overwhelming, you know, I, I don't know what would happen as time progressed, but I still feel it's important. And I really find that connection, like where I'm commenting to each and every one of you, like we have, we all chat, we all have these little conversations. It's not just like, thanks for watching. And that's it. You know, like, I don't say that I get a little more in, in depth. Like we both, we, we both do like with each of us, you know, and some of the people, like some of the friendships I've made and everything, uh, you know, there's just, there's quite a few uh, friendships that I've made along the way. So I, I kind of, like I said, whenever I was getting all this negative and this was close to the end of the year, I think when things like how I feel now, like when I was starting to be like, Oh my God, like you have all these comments and this connection with people and stop looking at that, you know, just continue on doing what you're doing. You know, um, that's, it's basically you guys influenced me in a sense to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, I need to overlook that stuff and see what I have in front of me. You know, it's like anything in life. Sometimes we don't always see what's right in front of us. The good thing. It's like we always look at the other stuff like, uh, you know, so yeah, definitely totally you guys. What are you excited about in 2018? Name a goal and what is the one word you would use to describe your yourself in 2018. One word I would describe for myself for this year, 2018, is I would probably say motivation. That's the word I think I would use because I feel I need to motivate myself. I need to push myself, not like push myself hard and, and you know, whatever, but I feel like I need to motivate myself in doing more things. Be my own little cheering squad. Like you can have other people and that's good because you do need that. But you also have to be your own little cheerleader, your own little cheering squad. So I would say motivation is probably going to be the word I'm going to use for me. But what am I most excited for in 2018? I'll tell you right now. My husband and I, and I'm not sure it might end up being in March because I got to look on online here. I might do that tonight and see because we're, we want to do a New York trip. And so we go travel by the bus. Uh, plane would be not too bad. I know airplane would be not too bad, but I guess with the bus trips, you know, they always have everything organized, your hotel stay and just, you know, so sometimes it's not too bad of a price. And so the couple day ones are a little bit pricey. And I don't think we'll be able to cut it. It would be nice. I would love that. Uh, but we're going to go to New York City. 10 year anniversary is coming up here in June. So it's like I have my birthday in June. And we have the um, 10 year anniversary in June. So uh, we might just do like a one day trip with them. It could be so exhausting. So what we figured we'd, if we went for a one day trip when we came back this way we would stay at the hotel nearby where the bus drops you off instead of coming home because you know just to get that little rest and catch up on some rest and everything we figured we'd just chill out relax in the hotel get some munchies watch movies whatever you know that's what i'm looking for forward to the most is going on a trip to new york city spending some good quality time with my husband which i feel like me and him never get never hardly because you know just the, so much here. I just, I don't get, we don't, we don't get that time and we need it. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll put the questions down below. If you want to do this tag, I tag you. Make sure you do check out uh, Susan Little Poet in her channel. Like I said, you, know, you won't be disappointed. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as the bell. That way the bell the bell will notify you of when my videos are up, uploaded and ready to watch. It's kind of a way to keep connected with me in a sense. And 
If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That always helps me and I very much appreciate it. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Hi, we'll see you then. I love you guys and I appreciate you very much. Thank you so much. And here's to 2018. Mwah. Bye.